Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Meghna. In this module, we talk about three types of comments in Java. So normally we should have learned this at the earlier sections itself, but better late. Now we'll discuss three types of comments that we have in Java. So let's get started. Now, as usual, we'll create a new project very quickly. File new Java project. I'll be creating this project name as project 39 because there's a lecture 39 and click on next. I want to create module info, click on finish. Now I'll expand this, right click on this, add new package. I'll be writing here my package, click on finish. Now right click on this, I'll create a new class, new class called, I'll just write here my class and main method, click on finish. Okay, so this we used to do for every project. So uh, we used to create a package and we used to create a class. Now. Now, whenever I'm going to write some code, let's take, I want to write here something called variable declaration. Now I'll write int a int input comma ei. So now this is a comment in Java, which will be ignored by the compiler. So what is the purpose of writing these comments is that so that the code will be more readable. So let's take if this code is being visible. I mean, someone else is seeing this code after, after one month. So they can understand that if I don't put this line, it's still the code will work. But only the purpose of this is just the person who is new to programming or who is new to the project sees this, that he will understand that, okay, I'm trying to declare variables here. And let's take, I'm writing something called read data from user. So like this comments help a readability of the code and also too much of comments also, it's not good. So normally the company standards that follow is a 10 is to two. For every 10 lines of code, uh, two lines of comments will add more readability for the code, right? So this is one, one comment called inline comment. Now let's take, I want to write multiple lines. Let's take, I want to give uh, some two, three lines of comments. So what I can do here is I can, let's take for this project, let me delete this. For this project, I want to write here. Now like this, I can do like this. So this, way of writing is called a multi-line comment. Now what I can do here, I can add five lines of comments here. So what I can write here is author, Meghna. So I'm just writing here my name and I'll just write here purpose. This is just a demo project. And I'm just writing demo project. And here I am illustrating multi-line comments. So like this, you can actually write uh, multi-line comments. A star slash is a starting and uh, sorry, a slash star and star slash is the ending. So this is how you can give multi-line comment. This red line says, okay, you can just ignore it. So this is one type of comment, multi-line comments. So we already seen inline comments. So this is an inline comment, two slashes. And this is a multi-line comment. So this is there in all programming languages. If you know C language, C++, Java, C sharp. So all programming languages, we have this inline comments and multi-line comments. Now, additional to these two comments, we have one more type of comment as well. So that is called documentation comment. Now, now let's take, for example, I'm creating a class called mathematics. I'll just write here class mathematics. And I'll write here public void, sorry, public, int add, int a comma, int b. Now I'm written my own method. I'll just write it in a plus b. Now I'll write here public int subtraction, int a comma, int b. Now I'll, I'll be writing here written a minus b. Now here I'm adding two numbers and written some. Here I'm, I'm uh, f uh, taking two numbers, finding difference and written the difference. Now, here, when I go to main method, I'll write here SYSO control space. Now, or I'll write system dot out dot. Now I'm writing here dot print. Now when I'm writing print, I can see some message. So if I see here, it's suggesting prints a Boolean value. So this is suggesting what this method will do. Now, if I take, let's take, for example, I'll be taking here print ln. So I'll be writing, see here, I'll select this integer. So that will suggest puts an integer 
and then terminate the line. So whatever these methods does, it is actually telling what is the purpose of this. Now what I can do for my method, let's say I want to for add method, let's see what happens for add method. How do you write for add? I have to create an object. So mathematics, obj is equal to new mathematics. And I'll write here obj dot add. Now for my method, which I'm creating, I don't see that message here. So, so I, if I want to add some message for this method, saying like this method will add two numbers and return some or something like that, so I can use documentation comments. So, so now for add method, I don't see any message. So what I can do here, go to add method, and how do we add is slash star star enter. Now see here, I just added slash star star. I typed enter. Automatically this code snippet came up. I delete once again. Let's see once again. I'm just doing once again, slash, star, star, enter. Now automatically it added, now I can write here, this method, this method will add two numbers and return sum. So for A, I'll be writing here first number, this A is equal to, A is equal to first number, this is the first parameter, and B is equal to second number, that's the second parameter. Now, now see here, with this comment that I have written here, I'll go to, I'll go here, and now I'll write here obj dot add. So now I'll type here add. Now let me, let's save it. It's not showing up for now. Let me save the file and see now. Now how can I save it? I just need to type here uh, control S. Now let's say this. I will just save it, control S. Now what I'll do is, I'll just go back here. I'll just write obj dot add, and I'll write here five comma four. Now I'll just move the mouse on this. Add. You can see here it's highlighting. This method will add two numbers and return sum. And it's showing here parameters a equal to first number, b equal to second number, returns. Now I can also write the comment for returns as well. Return a plus b. Now whatever I type here, that will be highlighted here. So when I click on this, you can see here. That's the message that is getting displayed for my method. And also when you export this, um, there is one more use for this documentation. You can actually export this as XML and that will be displayed in this documentation. So let's not worry about that for now. So what is the purpose of this documentation comment is that it will display like uh, this. So when you move the mouse on this, it'll show you the purpose of this method so that developers can understand it, right? So that is the use of that is the use of um, the documentation comments. So we just learned about three types of comments. The first one is uh, inline comments. The second one is multi-line comments, and the third one is documentation comments. So okay. So I hope you are clear with uh, the three types of comments. So practice it and see whether you can get this or not. When you move the mouse on the method, you should be able to see the see the documentation like this. Thank you, and see you in the next module.